Hey everyone, this is Darren with Crazy Minnow Studio, and we are back with another tutorial, this time on our Timeline Salsa Core add-on. And uh, basically this is uh, refreshing the existing video we had with the new updated Salsa Lip Sync Suite version 2, and uh, also an update to the Timeline Salsa Core. So when I was first working on this, uh, this video a little earlier today, I noticed there were a couple of small bugs, namely in Unity 2019.3's new inspector so some things weren't displaying correctly and I have fixed those so let me go ahead and pull that in so the new version is uh, 2.1.0 and uh, this should correct the the display in Unity's new UI so go ahead and grab that it does not necessarily require Salsa 2.3 but uh, we are using Salsa 2.3 this actually is the project that I was using for the mic input video the last one that I did so the add-ons most of our add-ons all import into this uh, crazy Mano studio add-ons directory and we'll see we still have our mic input we're not going to going to be using that uh, but we do have timeline and it includes a couple of different packages the emoter track and the salsa audio track the salsa audio track is necessary for salsa to actually read the audio clips if you want to use them in timeline because the native audio clips for timeline they use kind of a virtual audio source and so the audio source doesn't actually get placed on the character like it normally would and and at this point we can't see it so we've got a, a different audio track for timeline and it seems to work quite well so we'll demonstrate that use so first off I do have a mode guy configured in here and there's two of them one on the left and one on the right and we're going to demonstrate a little bit of dialogue back and forth between these guys and for that I am also going to pull in the examples pack because it has some smaller audio clips in it and they're basically the promo but they've just been greatly reduced in uh, size so they, they sound a little bit compressed but they're shorter as well so they'll be perfect for demonstration and uh, those will be placed in the examples audio right in here so normally we've just got this one and then we've got uh, these these four parts for female and male all right so let's go ahead and finish this scene up here I am going to add another object and we'll just call this timeline and on this, we will create a timeline playable. All right, so timeline, timeline, that's fine. And if we look here in assets, it's right there. Okay, first thing we want to do is get rid of this default track. We don't need it. Let's go ahead and add a salsa audio track. Let's add two salsa audio tracks in here. And put the left emoto guy on that one and the right emoto guy on this one. And uh, now I'm going to add an audio clip, a salsa audio clip. And the way we work with these is once it's in here, you just click on it and then you can drag your audio clip over to it. If, uh, this one start with the female and then we'll put one here. And that's, that's gonna be the guy on the right and we'll do the male. And you notice that it changes the length and uh, you can adjust this all you want, but it's going to maintain the length of the track. Are we on seconds? Yeah. This one is 7.3 seconds. And this one's a much shorter track. Let's go ahead and add another one up here. It's female, so let's do part two. And these will snap to the ends here. So, um, you know, we can overlap them if we want. So let's go ahead and play this real quick. And uh, first thing we want to do, because I already know this is a gotcha. So these had the one click applied to them. So it's the default one click. And what that does is it sets the audio source uh, up with a clip and it sets it to play on awake. So what happens is you get this like a lot of crosstalk because that one's going to be playing salsa. Simple. So it's already started. Then we've got the other one started. So it's just kind of a hot mess. We don't want the clip and we don't need play on awake. Let's do that on both of them. No clip. Turn off play on awake. Now when we play, Salsa. we'll get her start on the left. As soon as she's done, his clip starts. 
for your 2D and 3D characters. And then she starts talking right over the top of that one uh, because that's when it starts at the leading edge there. And it will finish at the trailing edge. Okay. All right, so that's the audio track, and uh, and that works pretty much as expected. There's not a whole lot. There's no options for it or anything. Now, the emote track has some options to it. Let's just start with one, and uh, we'll do this emote guy here. Now, the emotes that are configured uh, with the one click are designed for salsa emphasis, so they're pretty low key. They don't there's not a whole lot going on. They're just there to give him some expression. So we want to do something that has a little bit more pizzazz to it. Let's do a new emote and we'll do surprise. Okay. So it's going to look like this, which is kind of crazy. And uh, so we need to give it a name. There are two spots to put names, one on the component. This one doesn't matter. You can call this whatever you want. We'll just leave it as component zero, but this one does matter. And, uh, and we can leave it in mode six. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So in our timeline, we'll add a clip, add a mode clip just to demonstrate this. So this is on this character. So let's, let's wait to fire that until this guy starts talking. And uh, so we click on this and then we see that we've got an emote name. And uh, that one was emote six, I believe. And we'll call it a round trip. So what this will do is it will, it, this actually will use a, Pull this out so we can see a little bit better. It will use the length of this clip as the overall emote. So regardless of what you have the hold time set for, whoops, that's not the one I was on. So it's going to take quarter of a second to animate on. Actually, let's change it to one second and it's one second to animate off. And uh, and you know we can put whatever we want in here. So this is really three seconds total for a round trip if it were just fired as is but on the timeline it computes the length of this clip and it will adjust the hold time based on the overall length so it'll basically say all right well the length of this is what is the length of this so 6.3 seconds so it's it'll say 6.3 seconds the start is one second the end is one second and so it will take uh, that 6.3 subtract those two and that'll leave 4.3 so it'll have 4.3 seconds of hold time if we leave it as it is right now now if you go to you can probably see this already because this has no insight into what's actually configured here it's going to be calling this stuff in the blind so if i bring this down to say 1.7 seconds well we've got a problem right because we are saying that our on is one and our off is one. So it's going to be passing a value that is uh, not going to be indicative of how long this clip actually is. So the overall emote will last longer than the leading and trailing edge here. So if I set it to, I'll come back here to about five seconds, as soon as the, the leading edge clicks in here, it will start firing it up it will take one second to animate on. It will hold for three seconds. And then it will take one second to animate off. And that off animation will end on the trailing edge here, right here on this end. So just keep that in mind. If you make these too short and, and they're shorter than the actual on and off times of your configuration, then they won't match up this display won't match up. It'll still animate fine. It'll animate on and then it'll immediately start animating off, but that will take longer than what you've got configured here in the track. All right, so we've got just a little over five seconds. Okay, so this one is for, here, actually, let's drag this. This is the audio for this guy and the emote for this guy, and then this is the audio for this guy. All right, so let's go ahead and play this. So she starts talking. So she's done talking. Boom! Surprise! Woohoo! And then it turns off. Okay. All right. Now there is a, another type, and we can let's go ahead and add it on here. Add a mote clip. So you'll notice uh, on this uh, round trip, we've got this greater than and less than symbol, and and that's here as well, and that's to indicate that this is a round trip. When we switch this to a one way, when we switch this to one way, then uh, we need to tell it that we're animating on and we'll need two clips in order to control this because what will happen is since this is a one way, 
as soon as this leading edge, and you notice we've got the caret there, and we have no caret, or I'm sorry, we've got the greater than symbol there, no less than symbol on this side, indicating this is an animate on, okay? And so on the leading edge here, it will trigger that emote to start, and it will stay on until timeline stops. So we'll have to tell it to turn off. But So it doesn't matter how long this is. This, this could be this long, could be that long, doesn't matter. It's there just just to trigger on that leading edge. All right, so let's go ahead and play this. Salsa. Simple okay, so surprised. That goes off. He's talking. And she gets surprised again. And it doesn't go off. You notice know, kind of funky, kind of funky look there. That's because uh, we've got some additive shape blending there going on. Not for any particular reason. That's just uh, the shapes are mixing that way. Okay, so how do we how do we tell this shape to turn off? Well, we go ahead and add another emote clip. And then we turn this one into a one-way emote six. And we, we, we turn that off. Animate on is turned off at that point. Now, again, this one can be however big you want. What happens is it turns it off on this leading edge. So on these, on these one-ways, it's the leading edge that triggers it. So that's where it's going to happen. Remember, this is the round trip. It shuts off. Turns on. Stays on. Turns off right there. All right. There's one other thing that we can do with these one ways. We have this. Well, let me go back to this one. We have this dynamics option. And so what this will do is it will pick a random value of dynamics all the way up to a max here. So this would mean it would it would pull random values all the way up to the max value, which is that full-on surprise craziness look right there. So it would be f somewhere from here and uh, be anywhere in here, right? It's basically going to be adjusting that value. All right, so... We also have a, a timing. So this is how frequently it is going to change. And uh, and you'll just have to adjust this to whatever look and feel you're looking for. So right now, every two tenths of a second, it's going to fire a new variation of that emote. Salsa. Now we have it set to take a, a second to animate on and off. So we're not going to see like drastic movements. It's going to go fairly slow. See, but that, you know, that may be what we're looking for. Now we can, we can decrease this time. And it'll go a lot faster. But again, the animation on and off are, you know, they're probably not going to reach their... Automated lip sync approximation. The unique technology behind Salsa provides high quality lip sync... So they're not going to reach their full extents that way. Software. Now, if we change those to animate on and off faster so that we can get to that point. So like, let's say maybe 1.1. I've got the preview on, on that. Okay. Salsa. Simple automated lip sync approximation. The unique technology behind Salsa provides. Yeah, see, we're going a lot faster. He's like, woohoo, woohoo. All right. Okay, so one more thing here. What if we wanted to layer emotes and have them fire kind of overlapping? Well, we can still do that. We add another track and uh, we'll go ahead and do it on this same one since that's the one we have configured right now. Move this one down. All right, so he's still going on that Emoto guy. Let me come down here. I'm going to, I am going to add another emote. Tongue out. There we go. And that is going to be this. All right. So this is going to look kind of funny because we're talking and whatnot. What I might do is just turn off Salsa so that one's not doing anything. But let's add another clip. There's emote seven. Again, this could be whatever. We can make that name whatever we want. And we'll do it one way, dynamics, and yeah, that's fine. So we'll have this. I'm going to go ahead and turn and delete these. I don't need these anymore. This is a round trip. This is a one way. 
it's going to be turning it on. So we need to add another one to turn it off. Well, we don't have to. We can just leave it on. We'll just let him wag his tongue till the end. There's that tongue. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> all right. So you get the point. So I think that's all we've got for this video. I hope that was educational and informative. And uh, we look forward to seeing what you create. See you in the next video.